Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel, this might be the first time watching. Um, today I am actually going to New York, I'm flying out to New York City at 4 o'clock tonight, well like this afternoon, um, and we're flying from London Heathrow, so obviously if you've watched for a while you'll know that I live up in East Yorkshire which is about three and a half, four hours away from Heathrow but the only places that fly to New York, um, like with Virgin at least, are Manchester and Heathrow so like yeah basically Heathrow was the best bet because I'm going with Liv and Eve and obviously they're southern so we are actually driving down there my dad has very kindly driven me down to Heathrow I was gonna get the train but obviously that is a lot of faffing around and like getting a big suitcase through King's Cross and on the tube and stuff would just not be ideal so welcome to New York vlog one there will be five I'm gonna try and upload them daily um but if not just bear with me I don't know what the internet will be like but I have just about finished packing it looks like a bit of a mess right now. I want to put this in a plastic bag because I don't want it to leak but I think I've got everything and if I haven't got it then I will just buy it when I'm there. But anyway we're gonna set off on our travels. I'm sure you don't want to hear me wittering on. You want to see the travel part of the vlog. I love travel vlogs and you guys seem to really enjoy them too so let's go. My outfit for traveling is just this. So this is my own merch. Absolute wrapping but I thought there's probably never been any of my merch in America before so I'm gonna take some of it. Uh, and then I've just got leggings on. I never wear leggings but I didn't really want to sit on a flight for like eight hours or seven and a half hours in like tight skinny jeans so I thought I'll wear leggings um, and then I'm gonna pop on a jacket as well because I don't know if the plane will be cold but this is my attire it's very minimal I don't have much makeup on but yeah let's go to New York <laughs> So I've been in the car nearly three hours. We've stopped at two services, one for like food and one because we needed a wee. Um, but we're not too far away. I think uh, Eve and Liv are probably gonna get there before me, even though I set off like an hour and a half before either of them. Uh, just cause the traffic's quite slow on the M1, are we on the M1? Yeah, I've just been winding my dad up and holding this because when I drive, my dad holds onto this like handle thing in the car, like I'm sure you know what they are, uh, with like two hands and like, pretty much sits in the brace position because he gets so scared of my driving even though I've been past like four months now. Yeah. Um, so I'm just winding him up and sat here like doing it's this. Fine. It's not fine. It's actually rude. Yeah. I'm a safe driver. Here what? Um, <laughs> Taxi to New York. Taxi to not quite, I wish. I wish I could drive there. Like, actually no, I'm really excited for the plane. Do you know what I'm most excited for? Nothing. The tellies. Yeah, well, yours will be broken. Yeah, and Eve's actually. And well, they won't need those because they'll be reading. <laughs> Last time I flew to New York, on the way there, was that the time we had an incident with the problem family? Or was yeah. that the way home? That was coming back. From yeah, coming back from New York last time was the flight from hell. It was like, there was a family in front of us that were just the kind of family you do not want on a plane. They had like seven crying children. It was a night flight. They were putting their chairs back. They were kicking. They were like climbing over the chairs. And my telly didn't work. And I was like, oh. So hopefully that won't be happening today. None of that. No thank you. No screaming kids. No... Just no kids, I don't... We're nearly there ish, like an hour and... Well, it's traffic on the M25, so an hour and a quarter. An hour and a quarter away. Still be arriving, it's only three hours before my flight. And my flight's been delayed by 20 minutes, so... Look at my suitcase size compared to theirs. Even Liv were like, oh yeah, I think that you're, um, leaving unattended yes. items. <laughs> Look, they were both like, oh yeah, my suitcase is really big. Mine's like... Mine and Liv's are kind of like exactly the same size. I was going to bring one this size, but it doesn't have a zip, so it's a bit problematic. So I thought, uh, bring us one. Well, we've all got it sizes. Oh yeah. Oh, we're matching. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh. You can't come with us. So Eve has this nice, healthy example of what you should be eating. I bought this. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, Liv's like, Liv's also got unhealthy stuff. It's just not really, to be honest, That's I don't really lime, care. I've got lime in me mango, lime in me pasta. It looks good though, that. Is this lime as well? No, this is no, apple. No, this is apple juice. But it's fizzy apple juice. So like, apple tizer. Yeah. From Mark and Merck. <laughs> 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 now. It's <laughs> 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 
Someone's gonna love me for the free promo. <laughs> 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 Okay, I'm on this camera. This is really HD, so I'm gonna turn it off. <laughs> okay, so we're sat in the terminal. We're about to go. Uh, well, no, we're not about to go. In like 10 minutes, we're gonna call our flight. Although it's already like 20 minutes delayed. So yeah, um, but it's really weird because I'm sat like exactly where I was sat like three years ago, two years ago. I can't really remember. Like April 2015, and that was like when I met Joe Suggs. That was like the first vlog on my channel that was like ever popular. So it's bringing back nice memories. So if you remember that vlog, credit to you. Okay, so we have arrived in New York, although we are one member down. On the floor, they have baggage on the side of the floor, okay? <laughs> they do. Basically, we're missing Liv because she hasn't been to the US in the last two years or however long the time is. I'm going out of focus because it's so bright behind me. Um, so she had to get in a different queue. So we went through the like speedy Esther boarding. With the computers. Yeah, where they scanned our faces, got the fittest pictures. Sorry, there are bags on the floor. Anyway, basically, we're waiting for Liv now. We've got our luggage. She's talking, so I'm gonna go, but we're waiting for Liv, and then we're gonna get a taxi, which is extortionately priced, um, to Manhattan, because technically that's not where we are. Like, JFK is like not in central New York. So we're gonna get a taxi there, and then I think, depending on what time it is, we're more than likely gonna try and go out to Times Square tonight so that we stay awake, because it's half eight here. So at home, it's. Half past one? One, yeah. Why is Tom still up? He has school in the morning. <laughs> yeah, half past one at home, so we're gonna try and stay up because otherwise, because we're not here very long, we don't want to spend yeah. half the time being a bit jet lagged. I'd rather suffer tonight and then be fine for the rest of the trip. Yeah. Then, then like, be nice on myself this evening and then hate myself for the rest yeah. of the trip. Yeah. Anyway, we're waiting for Liv, so. <laughs> we're in the taxi. It's yellow. Dan Humphrey, is that you? Huh? Why are you here? Okay, so boy do I have an update for you. As you just saw, we were in the taxi, then we were in the hotel, and then we were in a taxi again, because we were actually meant to be checking in at the Intercontinental Barclays Hotel. There's two Intercontinental Hotels in New York. There's one in Times Square, and there is one on East 48th Street, which is where we had booked to stay. So we get there and we wait around in the queue for like, how long would you say, girls? Like half, half an, hour. an hour? Yeah, the girls are just here. The girls, it sounds like real really weird. Judgy woman. Oh, the woman in front of us. Us in a bloody tweed tell jacket. Me, like, where your colleague has gone? Yeah. I've just been waiting here for so long. Oh my god, I thought she was from like Russia or somewhere. No, she see. was just, she was American. She was kicking up a right fuss, like asking to see the manager, and she was just one of those people that you just don't want, like, no. Yeah. Um, so we got to the front of the queue, and the guy was like, at first I thought he was being a bit weird because we all look very young, like I thought that's why he was, because they're very, like in the UK you can check into hotels at 16, it's not really an issue. Here they were very very funny when I was booking it, with obviously all three of us being under 21 and the adult age here of being 21, it was quite difficult. So I'd booked like specifically, I'd called them up and stuff, so I thought that was what the problem was, but it wasn't. No! Oh, oh no! no. That would have been a nice problem. No, now. that would have been like, oh yeah, I'm 18, here's my ID, problem solved. No, this was... Oh, sorry, we've overbooked the hotel and don't have a room for you. <laughs> what? 
Bear in mind, we've just travelled eight hours on a flight, I did five hours in a car, and we waited in the airport for like three hours. We've had a really long day. For them to then say, oh, we don't have a bed for you, I was like, you what? So they have sent us to that other hotel, which is in Times Square, for tonight, which was free of charge, but they've just charged me £75 for it, for $75 for it, which I'm hopefully getting back tomorrow, but it's still annoying. So now we're in this hotel room, because we got asked to leave the other one, basically. <laughs> just gently ushered into a taxi. Yeah, they were like, oh, sorry, sorry, you can't stay here. There's a taxi outside for you, go. And we were like, bye-bye. It was the guy, was like, it was the guy know, who was behind you, babe. Because I thought the guy behind us was like quite a cool dude, you know. Yeah. Then he gets up to the checkout, and the guy, the girl, disappears to go to the man Manager, and at this point, he's like, Everybody in this queue yeah, is kicking up a foot. Like, Sorry for the wait. And he was like, I've been here for half an hour. <laughs> Everybody and was then, kicking off. And then we're pulling out in the taxi, and who comes <laughs> up next to me but this guy who I feel like I now have a bomb with, and he yeah. just waves at me like, Yeah, because we've all been mugged off by. So, Intercontinental, if you're watching, I won't be booking with you again no. because you've mugged us off. And it might be fine because your hotel rooms you are really what? nice. And I am liking it because it's nice and huge and stuff. Yeah, and I we like the show. You checked in online, pressed the button. I love Premier M, and I would have done if they had them here, but they don't. Could you so. imagine it in all? America, just America as a general whole, Shh. if you're watching. Premier in in your country, please. Please. Now. <laughs> oh. Do it, all <laughs> right, anyway, I think we're all just going to get in our pyjamas, and I'm going to edit this vlog and upload it, and then sleep, yeah, because we want to make the most of our time here. We're not here for that long, here for like four days, and we want to get up early in the morning, which probably won't be that difficult, given the time difference, but are we allowed to eat those snacks? Is that free no, food? No, it's, uh, it's $8 for the Pringles. $8 for some Pringles? Yeah, I think. Can what I was reading. There's a McDonald's, literally here, guys, but you've, Eve, the whole night has been like, I want a McDonald's, I want I a McDonald's. I do want one, but I don't There's know a McDonald's. you guys by making you and walk. she's not going. Go on your own. I'm not going. I am not going. I'm not going in New York on my own anywhere. I'll watch you from the window. And if I get mugged, what are you going to do? Just bang on the door like, <laughs> hello. Stop. <laughs> get stop. off. Please, please Benny. stop mugging my friend. Do you, Benny, know Benny, do you know who she is? <laughs> she just wanted some chicken to left. <laughs> Uh, right, anyway, we're gonna go. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, give it a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed the rant at the end of it. I thought this was gonna be like a really positive, like arty vlog. And no, <laughs> it ended with me sat having a rant again. Nothing changes. In the wrong hotel. Even if you're in a different country, you can guarantee if you want somebody to watch that's gonna complain. You girl. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so I will see you tomorrow with hopefully a more upbeat vlog. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see some more New York vlogs with these two, their channels and social media. <laughs> oh, holy hands! <laughs> <How romantic. laughs> their channels and social media will be linked down below. Liv's also vlogging it, so yeah, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye. How done are you? <laughs>